Before I get into the Barcelona vlog, I'm just going to show you four eateries that I would for sure eat weekly, if not daily. This first one is Bull Barcelona. It was so good, and I actually met the Instagrammers PCOS Weight Loss in here. That's how good of a place this is, is that this is where the influencers go, the health influencers go. It was so good. I felt so nourished and satisfied after this meal. They've just got a bunch of different bowls to choose from, lots of vegan desserts, healthy drinks, and I would definitely go again. Honest Greens. This was right next to the main street La Rambla where there was a lot going on, bringing awareness, protesting what's going on with Ukraine and Russia right now, and it was packed. So that's a good sign that this place is very, very good, and I was certainly not disappointed. It, the line went very quickly, and I got such a delicious, flavorful, and simple and nourishing meal. Highly recommend. I swear this third place is one of Barcelona's best kept secrets. It was just a little juicery right across the street from the first hotel I stayed at and it had so much amazing pre-made like little chia oat coconut yogurt puddings and juices and smoothies and things like that and look the outside atmosphere is so adorable all the furniture is made out of like flats and it was just such a great place I actually came back afterwards and did a bunch of computer work and the smoothies and juices super fresh and delicious love having a place like this to do work at my fourth favorite place, Tatiana's Cafe, had the most amazing bagel sandwich options and delicious vegan dessert options and of course matcha. I'm amazed at how difficult it was to find matcha and oat milk, that kind of a thing. The vegan options, the Wi-Fi atmosphere, all of it, really sweet people. I would go to this place like at least once a week. <laughs> amazing. I do need to throw in a dessert place. Normally you would see a vegan ice cream place for me because I love my ice cream. Not huge donut girl. These are cronuts, croissants slash donuts. Um, there were way too many vegan flavors. I was super overwhelmed. So you just gotta go. You just gotta try it. I am traveling alone for the first time in a country that I don't speak the language. Last night I felt so the disrespected the waiter hated me from the get-go he basically like threw the english menu at me and was like rolling his eyes at me and the food was awful oh all right this place is vegetarian i'm very excited yay and i just felt really bad <laughs> um i am in my hotel i'm leaving it super messy i don't want anybody coming in here except for me my past partner and i decided to completely cut off communication and he was saying that he's looking to meet other people and like that made me feel really heartbroken and after learning that I was like okay screw it you know what that's just that whatever I'm just gonna okay that happened so today who knows what'll happen maybe I'll meet up with a hinge date and I'm gonna say up front hey like I'm vlogging so you're gonna have to deal with that is that okay <laughs> right now I just worked out I just showered I I got myself that coffee. The Avena. Vale. Muchas gracias. Bye. I just obviously struggled to speak Spanish, but I got a coffee with oat milk. I'm gonna try my best to speak Spanish. So I also have a couple of client calls and patient meetings with my staff at Create Cures. I do work virtually, remotely, which has been amazing. I'll have to come back here in the evening to be on Los Angeles time for that, and then. Hopefully we'll get something fun happening for dinner. I did purchase a flight online to go back to LA tomorrow afternoon. So I'll just be heading out tomorrow afternoon. Let's go get some vegan deliciousness and hopefully it's actually really good. Hopefully it's a great experience and we meet new people and explore and enjoy the sunshine. I love you big dreamers. Let's go have a great day. Pretty hermosa, bonita. My crystals for clarity and strength. <laughs> uh, wow, it's really hitting me. I'm in Barcelona. I love these little corridor side street things. They're so cute. Here we go. We're gonna try another vegetarian restaurant. Teresa Carlos, Cuisina Vegetariana. Let's see how this is. It looks really pretty. Um, hermosa. Mm -hmm.
other stuff. Okay, pro tip, honestly, I should have just asked for the Spanish menu because the second I asked for an English menu, it's like eye roll. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> I feel disrespected having the English menu. So that happened at the last place too. It's just like, oh, here we go. Here's a fucking stupid person who doesn't speak Spanish. So make sure you just get the Spanish menu and translate it on your phone. That's what I'm gonna do next time. I think I'm just gonna get this. Creamy oat soup with beets, dill, and pistachios. That sounds amazing. And these are all superfoods on my biome. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with that and then I'll eat more at the next place. This looks beautiful. I love beets. I love pistachios. I love oats. That seemed really nice. I really liked my server. She was actually really nice. She spoke a little bit of English. And I did just get the soup. The soup had beets and oats and pistachios. Pistachios. I had tried more though to be able to like actually rec- Recommend more things. I've gotten more recommendations for this next place I'm going. It's about another 20 minutes walking and I'm excited to try it. I successfully asked for a table with an outlet in Spanish and I'm so proud of myself I think that the waitress likes me. This atmosphere is really cute. It's really airy. It's really open. I like the white. I like the wood and it feels like a really chill eco-friendly vibe which I feel at home in so I think this is a good spot. Okay, I ordered a juice. It's a beet juice with lemon and ginger and I asked for it without apple and she was like, oh, it's already pre-made. This is a little jar. This is really cute. But I would have obviously preferred to go to cash, but whatever. It's really yummy. This is homemade tempeh, homemade organic tempeh, and papaya skewers. Wow. I love tempeh. Wow. This is amazing. After that amazing meal, I rushed back to my hotel to make it in time for some client calls as well as to meet with the staff at the Create Cures Foundation. Hey, I'm lying in bed. I know the lighting in this in this hotel. Look at this blue lighting. I'm exhausted. I just got off of a team meeting. So excited. I just got off of a call with a patient and he said he accidentally lost four pounds in the last couple of weeks. Because in the past he used to be like so like zero carbs and going crazy and he was like I don't understand how I accidentally had this happen just by like wanting to feel better and shifting his perspective and like craving feeling good rather than craving alcohol and sweets and I'm so happy. But I'm on my way to a vegan restaurant that Jude's vegan friend from Spain suggested. It's pretty close to my hotel and I was gonna go there anyways but this guy on Hinge said he would meet me there which I'm like okay whatever let's see what happens. Again not bringing anyone back to my hotel. I don't even want to kiss anybody. I'm just gonna um meet somebody new. Please be good. Please be kind. <laughs> Please be nice to me. <laughs> we must show them how you think of this first thing. Is it flour thin bread? And it's a pretty good start for our Totsi experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay! Here we are. Two uncertain times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try these mushroom croquettes. Thank you for being down. And thank you for being down to film. This is very, <laughs> of you, very brave. Okay. You wanna try one with me? Oh, you're being polite. You're oh, I am being polite. Yeah, I couldn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to dip it in there. Dip it I feel like it's a uh, multi-purpose dip. Okay, now we'll cheers. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Whoa. Very nice. Whoa. Um, no, not convinced. I want to like kind of describe it. It feels like super like creamy and like potatoey. Whoa, it's not what I was <laughs> expecting. You know what I mean? I was expecting like more veggies. Kind of, that's just like a paste. Yeah. Very pasty. What would you rate that out of 10? 
Uh, I feel like 10. Okay. Sorry, 10 out of 10 for me would have had like more like texture. Yeah. Yeah, we won't be giving it a 10. Yeah, I don't think it's a 10. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a generous age. Yeah, that's very generous. I'm glad you <laughs> like it though. That makes me happy. All right, he gives it an eight, an eight. I'll give it a seven. It could be better for sure. Definitely some more I think texture. Maybe we, uh, some more the units. Sauce <laughs> yeah, and the, the sauce didn't come yet. SMH. No clue what those are. <laughs> sweet potato. Oh, those are the sweet potatoes. Yeah. Wow. Alright, here we go. Like, look at this salad. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I need some greens. He took away those fried sweet potato things. Are there any greens in there? Or. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Current situation, I give that restaurant one gold star. That was not, I mean, maybe we ordered the wrong thing, but did you see that salad? Yeah, that was, tough. that was tough. That was like, there was not, like, I need more vegetables it was in my almost, life. Uh, I, disrespectful. <laughs> it was disrespectful. I feel disrespected. They totally, like, scammed us trying to give us a bottle of wine instead of glass wine. Whatever. End, end of story. We're trying to find a new place, walking towards the ocean, and um, hopefully we stumble across something much better. Yeah. Exciting. Look, if you want. Yes, let's, let's take a look here. Oh. We're going down. That's so cool. Yeah. Great. So we're going to get a veggie base with more proteins. <laughs> I'm definitely down. Great. This is really awesome. Thank you for taking me here. Just got back from the juice place. That guy is such a sweetheart. I'm so grateful I met him. I did get a flight earlier than I was going to fly. So I was going to fly back on Monday the 28th and I tried to like, I tried to fly back today. I got a flight yesterday for today and it was a super cheap flight. Most of the flights are like at least a thousand fifteen hundred dollars but i was like okay i found a flight for like five hundred dollars booked it realized today that there's a 13 hour layover in moscow there's a war going on over there so although i booked this flight <sighs> therefore i'm going to end up staying until <laughs> which is hilarious like i tried to fly home early at the airport i tried so hard and like there's been so much pushback and I'm so glad this book that I'm reading called The Surrender Experiment, just like being able to go with the flow and surrender. And this is also teaching me a lot about making commitments and actually sticking to them. Like I'm realizing that when things get hard or when I feel uncomfortable. This is so much. I just wish I had a place that I could go to to call home. Like that was my own, like not my parents' house, not crashing on my friend's couch. I don't know why I'd be here. Well, instead of up and leaving or like dropping a commitment to dig my heels in, stick it through to the end of my commitments, like be decisive and go all in on my decisions. I'm learning that that's something that the universe is just going to keep throwing at me until I learn to, yeah, to like stick to my commitments. But I also want to practice self-care and do what makes me feel most at peace. So I'm trying to balance that and yeah, so I'm not going to be going to Moscow tonight for 13 hours by myself. That seems like a really not a good idea. Um, so I'm probably like, I've never felt this abyss of just like, what am I doing with myself? Like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> I've never felt so like lost and confused. Um, but thankfully I don't feel super alone after meeting that guy on Hinge last night. Like he actually really related to what I was going through and that made me feel a lot better. So I'm really grateful for our technology. I'm grateful that I was able to meet him. Um, yeah, he was really, really such a sweetheart. Um, yeah, we really just hung out. <laughs> it was really, really nice. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna pack up my things. I need to check out by noon. I'll probably go back to stay with Jude and her family in their apartment instead of going to the airport right now. So I did just waste 500 something dollars, but 
that's just the way it is. So clearly I'm a little upset and lost and feeling like, ah, wow.